Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be talking about the best XP farming spots to date that you can find and that you can do in the first Descendant. I'm gonna give you a few options. I'm gonna talk about all of them. I'll show you actual footage that I recorded today for while I was streaming on Twitch and I um, tested out a few of the options available to level up my ultimate Valby and I just wrapped up right now I can um, spend my last catalyst to upgrade her to get that juicy 85 capacity over here I tested out a few options uh, one of them is actually pretty new it's it yeah, was discovered a few days ago. I tested it out, but I'm not sure it is what I want to do. Let me know in the comments below if you like this new method. Let's get straight to the methods. All right, so let's talk about the three methods that I tested around. So the first method that I tested around was Sterile Land Kuiper Mine Blockade, the mission itself. I had my regular gear on, which was some character EXP, and we also got 30% uh, EXP today from the developers. So I had this on, and uh, let me actually check, I believe here in this video, yes, I started as level one, and I did this activity. Uh, it took me four runs to get to level 40. Um, this, by the way, this party, I remember this party from today. I told them specifically in chat, I said, let's, let's spread out folks. And this run was our fa my fastest one. It was around 10 minutes um, and it was very quick. So that that told me that if you are actually, um, if you at least type in chat and say, people, let's spread out and let's everyone cover a, a zone, this will be so much more quicker. Um, you will save yourself a little bit of time and stuff like that. So as you can see, I scroll down to um, 35 uh, minutes of running missions and I was about level 31 and here level 44 minutes in um, I am about level 36 so within an hour of doing this um, if you even just go with random groups and you you tend to run into dummies that are super slow and they stack on those points it will take you around one hour to get from level one to level 40, which is not something, something super quick or, you know, super special. But the fact that you also get amorphous materials and it's a different type, it's a, some kind of a group activity. Um, this is this is a decent method to go for. All right, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the second method over here in Vespers. Um, it is this non-attribute void fragments so you need any descendant that can you know do the non-attribute uh, activation of the mission however the method is actually pretty simple one person activates and stays next to the activation point and the other person um, like me over here or like this bunny are just killing off these mobs super quickly and all you want to do is abort the missions once you're done so in this method as you can see there is one guy over there re-aborting the mission and activating the mission i was doing this with an ajax ajax was over there the what you want to do so there the, in order to trigger the first phase of this mission over here as you can see you need to kill 55 mobs but this spawn rate over here this pool is very convenient for bunnies for volbies for um, VSs, anything that can drop huge AOE and one shot everything that spawns over here. And as you can see, my water is all over the place and they just appear and disappear. And it literally takes just 10 seconds for, for us to kill those mobs. I'm just running over here and we abort the mission. Both players need to abort the mission, then Ajax is able to restart the mission. This is why this is very, very powerful and very strong. Uh, however, keep in mind that you need um, two people to at least uh, be doing this. Right now, it is getting popular. People are trying it out. A lot of people will be doing this. So I highly recommend you if you want to test it out. Now it's time. However, I have a small disclaimer about this spot. And I'll also tell you that I don't like this spot. The reason why um, is because you don't get anything. You get, you get only straight up experience which is 
pool if you want to get a new method to try out a new method for um grinding uh, experience other than bunny cave or um anything else just you can come here you can try it out i was not blown away by you know how super quick the levels go yes they go quick but overall i believe like it would take you 30 to 40 minutes to get to uh from one to level 40 i came here a little bit um i was let me let me see actually i was about level 23 and i got here i i I got to level 40 in about um 20 30 minutes so overall let's say that you will get from 1 to level 40 in in 40 minutes or something like this 30 30 to 40 minutes but like i said the big downside about this spot is that it is empty you get nothing and you need a second person to do it so it's not very convenient for you to do this solo um as a solo player um so yeah, I don't recommend this method. Let's talk about the my recommended methods to this day. Um, and it's actually pretty good because if you uh, take a note over here on top, I have 3.1 million Kuiper and 1.2 million Kuiper. And it took me exactly one hour to get from level 1 to level 40. And it took me um, one hour to get my weapon from uh, proficiency 16 to proficiency 5. So I reset the weapon and I got it to 5 basically. And I didn't have any proficiency leveling modifiers. I did have character modifiers. I did have gold modifiers uh, and experience modifiers, but no proficiency modifiers. So keep that in mind. Um, and this spot is our favorite Vobby run. The Vobby run is just too powerful, ladies and gentlemen. I believe this is the best in slot uh, place for you to go and level up. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if you invest almost the exact same amount of time, like the one hour that the other spots will probably consume you, uh, in here, in return, you will get around six to seven million gold. And gold, as you can already all figure it out, uh, it's a huge bottleneck in the game. I highly recommend you get and grind this if you want to get some levels um do this do this or do sterile land uh, blockade ladies and gentlemen this is the reason why i'm telling you that this spot over here is worth your time i got it from one to uh, i got my descendant level from level one to level 40 with this as well in one hour and i got my weapon my um enduring legacy from level 16 uh to now it's level five so i already reset it once and i got it also to level five so i got also a decent amount of levels for proficiency now keep in mind that i had kuiper shard drop rate module drop rate i had gold drop rate uh, i did not have i had character xp on I do have another one that is actually for um that has a firearm proficiency one so if you're not that much in need of gold however if you're doing the vobby run i highly suggest you have the kuiper gold one uh the gold uh, drop rate one just do that right um this is the reason why i do think that Still, I'm gonna stick if I have to level up anything and I want to make best use of my time I'm gonna stick to the Bobby run the reason is even though if, if, if it's 30% nerfed after the latest patch it's still good enough this is about 30% less it used to be around maybe 10 million per hour right now it's about 7 so no big deal ladies and gentlemen 7 million gold still per hour um, and 1 million Kuiper is just really good. So, still one of my favorite spots. Let me know in the comments below what spot do you prefer, what spot do you like. Um, and out of those three, would you rather go and abort mission every 10 seconds and escape, abort, escape, abort? Or would you jump in a cave? Or would you run op operations, you know? with the getting perks of getting tons of amorphous material and those 
after being opened up, you have a chance to get crystallization catalysts and blueprints and, and stuff like this, or you would just go for gold. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.